Deliverance Church Theater, Life Transformation Center, welcomes you to a life-changing program. Tazama Ju. Psalms 121 says, Our help comes from above, and your life will never be the same again. Tazama Ju. Let it be your prayer. Spirit, be with my trust as we Together, let's connect with the heavens. Be blessed. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We are very grateful that you are watching us this evening. And more so, we want to welcome you to our divine encounter service. And I believe and I know, as we praise the Lord this evening, our lives shall ne never be the same again. So can we celebrate the Lord Jesus? He has been faithful in our lives. To Jesus.
Amen. Hallelujah. You can just lift your hands you and worship God and tell Him that Jesus. He is worthy. Mwambie ni mfame wa wafame Hakuna mungu alie kama wewe Tuna kuinua yawe Tuna sema wewe ni wajabu Wewe ni mungu wa miungu Hau fananishwi Hau fananishwi mwana Poke ya sifa Poke ya utukufu Mana we ni mungu Mku anayestahili Receive all the glory Lord Receive all the glory Lord Receive all the glory, Lord. Eshataba, in the mighty name of Jesus, O King of Kings, we exalt you and we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. We worship you and we honor you. You are mighty and you are powerful. Receive all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, our worship team, for the wonderful worship and praises that you have given us today. God bless you. And, uh, wherever we are, we can appreciate our team for the wonderful ministration. And may God continue using them. And may God continue to uplift them for his glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for another evening of our divine encounter service. Thank you, everyone who has gathered to listen to the message. And uh, I hope that you will be blessed. This is the evening that the Lord has made, and uh, I know he has prepared a table for us. And uh, I would also like to thank our senior pastor for this opportunity, for, for, for giving me a chance even to come and minister, and the entire leadership team of Deliverance Church. Hallelujah. So, we are going to go straight into our word. Our word today comes from First Kings chapter 18 from verse 41 to 46 first kings chapter 18 verse 41 to 46 and i will read and elijah said unto ahab get thee up eat and drink for there is a sound of abundance of rain so ahab went up to eat and to drink and elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked, and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare your chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass, verse 45, In the meanwhile, that the heaven was black, with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he guarded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Um, we are going to read one more verse. It's in the book of James. One more scripture in the book of James. James chapter 5 from verse 17 to 18. I will read. Elias was a man subject to passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly or fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Verse 18. Then he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth its fruit. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Everlasting God, we thank you. We honor you. We praise your name. Lord, I commit myself into thy able hands, even as your vessel, O God, that as I speak your word, I shall speak of your oracles, and people's lives will be blessed, and they shall be uplifted. Holy Spirit, have your way. We thank you. I bless your name. This I pray, believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, we are going to go straight into our word. And... Uh, the title of today of the message is that the rain is coming. 
that the rain is coming ukitafsiri na Kiswahili utaona kwamba mvua inakuja hallelujah and um, as i was meditating upon this word uh, i was hearing in me that there is something that god is about to do in the church in the nation in our lives as christians you know in our lives as kenyans you know that there is something god is preparing to do that there is something god wants to do even spiritually and physically to our lives that will change our lives completely that will change our christianity completely that will change our beliefs completely and i know this message is for you and i know god will bless you one we see a man here elijah we are basically told that he was a man just like us you know a normal man and the name elijah means that god is jehovah or god is my lord you know and we see his entrance in the in the word of god in the book of first kings from chapter 17 that's where he comes in and 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 from a little background we see that the israelites you know who are under the leadership of king ahab and 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 jezebel you know had turned away from god they had forsaken the commandments of the lord and they had started worshiping baal or or worshiping idols you know and 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 the idolatrous priests or the all the false prophets they claimed that baal had dominance over nature you know dominance over nature and absolute control over the clouds and over the rain you know so elijah is appointed and raised as a servant of god at such a time so that he may come and challenge that system remember this system had already gotten into the israelites and god was not pleased and so that's where we see him 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 coming into the picture and saying because you have forsaken the lord there shall be no rain in your land for three years and six months and if you look back at the book of second chronicles uh chapter chapter 7 verse verse 14 where it says that if i shut up heaven that there is no rain or if i command locusts you know if i command locusts you know to come upon the land then if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land so elijah was a true prophet and it's like he was sent to restore true worship of god in the land of israel you know among the israelites and that's why he brings a contest between the 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 the, the baal prophets you know 450 of them you know and he tells them come let us let us see whose god is is is, is true you know whose god is the living god and at the end of it you see, we see we see him you know uh, challenging them and true they bow down and worship the living god so elijah was was an instrument or god used him to turn back the hearts of israelites back to their god hallelujah and i'm praying that even in this season you know in our nation in the church that god will raise such men as elijah who will take the mantle you know who will challenge wrong things you know and restore the true worship you know and restore the true beliefs of our god hallelujah so that's just but a little background of what was happening now after he challenges the prophets and uh, and, and 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 god answered him by fire you know after that he kills all the prophets you know and then now we come to verse 41 verse 41 of uh, of first kings 18 that and elijah said unto ahab ahab was the king go up eat and drink for there is a sound of the rushing of rain hallelujah i don't know what drought you know you may have been in but i hear the sound of the rushing of rain i hear the sound of abundance of rain that our drought season is soon coming to an end it doesn't matter what you have been through it doesn't matter what challenges you have faced it doesn't matter what point you have reached in your life i hear the sound of abundance of rain coming down in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah bwana asifiwe hallelujah and we see rain rain is a necessity of life 
you know rain is what brings water you know without rain our crops cannot cannot grow without rain food becomes scarce without rain our livestock don't have enough even to drink and without rain people suffer and people eventually die because rain rain is a form of divine blessing sent from heaven that provides for the needs of the people bwana asifiwe rain also signifies refreshment you know a refreshment you know a refreshment it also signifies fertility you know and and, and a new birthing bwana asifiwe and 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 rain comes from god rain comes from God. It doesn't come from any other source. And we can see that in the book of Job chapter 38 from verse 25 to 28. We can see that in 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 that scripture where God 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 is asking Job questions that 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 rain comes from God. Bona sifiwe. And Elijah, we see here that he had the faith to hear the rain coming, you know? And 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 and, and I don't know how how your faith is but the bible says if your faith is as little as a mustard seed and you tell this mountain to move it shall move so however your little your faith is you know i pray you know that that that, that faith will read the rain or the blessing of god to come upon your life in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah bona si fiwe you know and 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 the period of drought is not a good period it's a period of lack you know it's a period of dryness you know dryness of the land you know dryness even spiritually bona si fiwe the period of drought is a period of scarcity you know people fight for survival you know people fight to remain afloat or to remain you know to remain to remain going you know it's a period of devastation bona si fiwe but i've come here to tell you that the word of god says that this is a sound of abundance of rain that god is going to do something that people will see you know people will see and will see the the glory of god and will see the goodness of god in your life in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah bona si fiwe but even with this promise because elijah had already had god even with this promise elijah had to pray even with the promise elijah had to pray and prayer is a very powerful key to accessing and securing our blessing prayer is a very powerful key to accessing you know and securing our blessing we should pray always when we wake up we should pray when we go to work we should pray you know when we are doing our businesses we should pray prayer should be our lifestyle bona asifiwe yes so elijah had to pray elijah had to pray and i'm reminded of the instructions paul tells timothy you know after in, in 1 timothy 6 verse 12 he tells him fight the good fight of faith lay hold of 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 eternal life you know and this is how we fight the good fight of faith by prayer you know by kneeling and calling upon god you know and it's 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 not just a normal prayer but it is a prayer of faith bona si fiwe so elijah had to pray and call upon god and 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 and, and brethren you know as it says in in first kings chapter 18 verse 42 and ahab went up to eat and drink and elijah went up to the top of camel and he cast himself upon the earth and put his face between his knees brethren the times we are living in need people who are prayerful bona si fiwe if you want to be victorious if you want to have a victorious living over your family over your job you know a victorious living in all that you do brethren we have to go back to the place of prayer and christ was our good example of how a man should pray Christ exemplified you know he lived a life of prayer he used to pray in the night you know he used to pray even before performing miracles so we should follow Christ's examples and there is a quote 
that I loved here, it says that if you have not prayed, do not trust the result you see. And it continues, do not trust anything until you have secured it in prayer. So God has called us in such times as this, even with what is happening in our country, even with what is happening in the whole world, God has called us, me and you, to have a lifestyle of prayer, to call upon him, you know, to call upon him that his kingdom may come on earth and that his will will be done. How I pray that the Lord will raise prayer warriors, people with a burden of prayer in these times, in this generation, that God will raise his people, people who are ready to break the fallow ground, to sow themselves in righteousness till the Lord comes and reigns and reigns in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Buona Yesu Asifiwe. And we continue in verse 43. We see here and he said to his servant go up now and look towards the sea you know he sent his servant you know go and look towards the sea and he went up and looked and said there is nothing and he said go again seven times he was not just prayerful but he was also persistent even when nothing was forthcoming just like the widow in the book of Luke chapter 18 who was approaching the judge and, 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 and requesting for justice, you know, to be done upon, upon her. Just like that widow was persistent. Just like that widow was persistent. That is how Elijah was persistent. And we have to be persistent in prayer. Even when nothing is forthcoming, we have to continue. We have to continue. We should not give up, no matter what the circumstances. Because sometimes answers do not come immediately, you know. But we must continue pressing on. Like Paul says, I keep on pressing on, you know, until a breakthrough comes in our lives. Buona asifiwe. David says in the book of Psalms chapter 40, verse 1, that I, wish I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined myself to me and heard my prayer that he waited patiently that should be our posture of prayer that as we wait and call upon his name we should do it patiently and for sure God will come you know for, for, for he will come he says that he will never leave nor forsake us do not lose hope do not lose heart even when you have prayed and the answers are not coming. So brethren, let's lift our confidence in the Lord. Let's not be like waves who are tossed and turned because of our disbelief. As James says that when we do not believe, when we doubt, we are like a wave which is tossed and turned. Let's have confidence. And, and, and I was thinking, what made Elijah continue you know, pressing on in prayer. What made Elijah continue pressing on in prayer? And, and only one reason came to mind, you know, that the power of the Holy Spirit empowered him and encouraged him to keep on seeking the Lord. That God, that his inner man was strengthened. And that is the prayer I pray upon our brethren today, that our inner man may be strengthened. For God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That one we can see in the book of Hebrews 11 verse 6, where it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he who calls upon him must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of those who seek him. I've come to prophesy to you that your expectations shall not be cut off. Whatever you have been leaving God for, God is coming to restore. God is coming to restore in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter how your business is. It doesn't matter how your family is. It doesn't matter how your child is. I have come to tell you that the 
prayer you have been making, God is hearing. Though he may be silent, God has heard your prayer. And in due time, he will come and do what he can do. And, 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 and lift you up out of that mary clay. Even as David was lifted up, you are going to be lifted up. And you are going to be given a new song in your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, a song of victory. A song of victory in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we continue, we see that the, the servant came back and said there is nothing. And said there is nothing. I don't know how many have been told that there is nothing. You wake up and go to work and come back at home in the evening and there is nothing. You have prayed over a situation. You have applied even jobs outside there and there is nothing. There is nothing. There is no reply. There is no response. I have come to tell you keep on praying. Keep on pursuing God for in due time God will perform it. In due time God will do a miracle. Your seventh time is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. God's time came and he did the miracle. God's time came and he did the miracle. Do not limit yourself to what the outside is saying. Do not limit yourself to what you are being told, to what you are seeing the news saying that the economy is are failing. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister, God never fails. God never fails. He never fails in his word. He never fails in his actions in the name of Jesus. So I have come to exhort you and encourage you and tell you that the rain is coming. And as we continue with the word, we see in verse 44, and it came to pass at the seventh time. Oh, I prophesy that your seventh time is soon coming to pass in the name of Jesus. I don't know how much you have waited. Some have waited even more than these three years and more than these three years and six months. But I have come to tell you my brother and my sister that God is coming and is coming with a heavy rain and he said, behold there arises a little cloud. Behold there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand God is doing a new thing and is going to reveal unto us soon what he's going to do with our lives. Raise your faith. Raise your faith, my brother. God is, is a redeemer. God is a redeemer. And Job says, I know that my redeemer lives. Job endured many things. But in the end, he came to, prof he came to say that I know my redeemer lives. And I've come to tell tell you that our God will redeem you out of that situation. No case is beyond God's redemption. He is a merciful God. You are not alone in the fight. You are not alone in the fight. Your prayers are not useless. The Lord has heard you and is making a way. He is making a way for you for he is a way maker. Hallelujah. Bona Yesu asifiwe. And, 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 and he said, go up and say unto Ahab, prepare your chariot and get thee, round, get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Bona Yesu asifiwe. You know, and I was, I was looking at this. You know, God is, it's like God was, was telling me, tell people to prepare themselves. You know? Prepare, prepare yourself. Even as you wait upon God. Even as you wait upon his word to be fulfilled, to be performed upon, upon your life. You know? Prepare yourself. You know? Prepare yourself in prayer. You know? Make room. Create room big enough for whatever God is about to do spiritually and physically in our lives. I tell you in faith. You know? As, as Elijah told Ahab in faith, prepare yourselves because a mighty thing is going to happen in our lives. Build and create the capacity to be a channel of God's power and demonstration because how you are going to prepare yourself will determine how much you will receive. If you make a big room, you know, if you, if you enlarge your heart, you know, if, if, if you seek God 
and create spiritual capacity. Then as he reigns his, his power, as, as he, he reigns, you know, and, and the rain comes upon you, you know, then you shall, you shall receive many. But if you just sit down and, 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 and stay like that, whatever is going to come, it can overwhelm you. And I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, prepare yourself. Prepare your chariots, you know? Prepare yourself. Prepare your tanks. Because the rain that is going to come is going to be great, you know? Prepare your heart. Prepare your mind. For God is doing a great thing in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And it came to pass in verse 45, in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was great rain. Praise the name of the Lord. I have come to tell you that great rain is coming upon your life. Great rain is coming upon your life. Great rain is coming upon your life. The prayers that you have been making, probably even God has been preparing you for a bigger thing. And that's why it has stayed for some time. That's why you have waited for some time. Because... um. Great things do not just come instantly. They take time. Maybe God is preparing you in that season of dryness. Maybe God is preparing you for what he's about to do in your life. For what he's about to demonstrate in your life. And I was thinking, suppose Elijah gave up, you know, and said, I have prayed one time. I have prayed two times. And nothing is forthcoming. You know, Mungu atafanya, like the way we normally say, Mungu atafanya wakati wake. Ati hii si mapenzi ya Mungu. Sometimes we give, we give that excuse when we are tired. You know, when we are tired. And you know, as, as human, yes, we have that weakness. Sometimes we get tired. Sometimes we get frustrated. But I want to tell you, even as Elijah did not give up, he knew what he had had. He knew the word that he had had will come to pass. You know, he knew the sound of abundance that God had promised him is going to come to pass. So brethren, do not give up. If Elijah gave up, that nation would not have been saved. Probably God would have, be, would have destroyed them would have destroyed them together with the Baal prophets, you know. But Elijah continued, you know. He continued praying, you know. He continued challenging, challenging whatever issue that was happening. And truly, victory came to pass. So I want to tell you, my brother, maybe God has put you in that family, my sister, to be the one who is going to challenge, you know, and, and, and change the situation in that family. Maybe God has saved you in that family so that you may save the others. Even as God raised Elijah so that he would save a whole nation from doom, from destruction. Maybe God has raised you in your ministry, in your job so that you could change that environment. But things are working against you. You know, things are working against you. Oh, I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, continue pursuing, continue pressing on, continue pursuing God in prayer. And for true, he will come and he will reign over your life. He will reign over your life. I, I, I foresee times of revival, times of refreshing, even in these days, I know God will pour out his spirit upon his sons and daughters. I can see it. The rain is coming. God is releasing. God is releasing his spirit even to his sons, to his daughters, to men and women. And Lord, let us, and, and, and I, I pray that we shall be met praying that we shall not give up, that we shall not sleep. For when we sleep, the enemy comes and, and plants tears in, in, in our wheat and, and we end up not receiving or not growing or, or, or not reaching wherever God has desired us to be. And, and as I conclude, I want to finish with this word in the book of Hebrews 10 chapter 35 to 39. 
Hebrews 10, chapter 35 to 39. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. Uh, King James says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has a great reward. Continue in verse 36. It says, for ye, you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Verse 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. I want to tell you, you know, you who are there, wherever you are viewing from, you know, my brother, my sister, I want to tell you that for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. You know, he will come and will not tarry. And he continues to say, now the just shall live by faith. You know, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. This is not the time to draw back. This is not the time to draw back. And I want to tell you, my brother, keep the faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Read the word of God. Spend time in prayer. Keep seeking him. Keep seeking him. For the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things shall be added unto you. And verse 39 says, but we are not of them who draw back. I want to prophesy and declare that none of us shall draw back. None of us shall lose hope. None of us shall enter into depression. None of us, you know, shall lose faith in God. None of us shall backslide because we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. We shall not fall back into evil ways. We shall not fall back into worship of idols. You know, because sometimes you can wait and end up being frustrated and turn to, to godless things, you know turn to worthless things, you know, because of our frustration. But I pray that the, by the power of the Spirit of God, that you shall remain strong, that you shall be steadfast in spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and, and it, it finishes but by saying, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. I've come to tell you, my brother, my sister, that Jesus Christ is coming to save you. He's coming to save you and your soul will smile your soul will rejoice your soul will look back and say you know that were it not for god let me say i would have not made it to where i have made you know he will come and lift you up out of that pit you know out of that dark dungeon you know and and and, and set you free and liberate you He's going to come and break every chain. He's going to come and, and, and bring salvation even to your family. He's going to come and heal your marriage. This rain, it will come and do a lot of things. It is a rain of healing. It is a rain of revival. It is a rain of refreshing. And, and, and brethren, let us continue to wait. Let us continue to prepare ourselves for God is doing a mighty thing in our lives. And I pray for the spirit of Elijah to come upon us, upon you and me, that we shall wait upon the Lord, that we shall be fervent in prayer. For Elijah was a man just like us, you know, but he prayed and rain came. So bwana wabariki sana mpenda wa mtazamaji mahali uko aendelee kuwapigania vita ujue kwamba Yesu yuko na, na, na Yesu ndiye njia kwa hivyo tunapoendelea kuomba tunapoendelea kumtafuta huyu Mungu atatengeneza njia and we'll have a smile on our face it only takes one evening it only takes one evening 3 years and 6 months of drought was ended only by one evening. But let us draw back unto God. Let us stop things that do not glorify God. Let's put aside the worship of idols. Because after they put aside things that do not glorify God, that's when Elijah, that's when the spiritual, you know, the spiritual heaven was opened 
over their lives. May God open heavens over your life. May God bless you. May you have a victorious week. I love you and I appreciate you and I know that God 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 will will perform it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive all the glory, Lord, receive all the honor. Let us pray. For lasting God, we thank you. We love you. We glorify your name. Thank you because you are a God who answers our prayers. And Lord, how I pray that Jehovah, we shall wait on you. We shall wait on you patiently, O God, for in due time you will come. In due time you will come. I pray that none will draw back, but we shall continue in the same fervency. We shall increase in persistence in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as your rain comes, may it rain on me. May it rain on that person who is watching, O oh God, that you shall not leave them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, we exalt you. This I pray, believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now may God do you good. Amen. Deliverance Church Theater, Life Transformation Center, welcomes you to a life changing program. Tazama Ju. Psalms 121 says, Our help comes from above, and your life will never be the same again. Tazama Ju. Come on, let it be your prayer. Spirit, Together, let's connect with the heavens. Be blessed.